Hello, and welcome to your Piano Lesson Line. I am Gabriel Ruiz Bernal, and today we're going to study one of the most important piano pieces of the piano repertory. This is the Prelude Number 1 by Johann Sebastian Bach from the Well-Tempered Clavier, Volume Number 1. So today we're going to learn beyond the notes on the page. I would like you to discover the tensions and the resolutions that Bach does and applies to the piece. So the piece moves in time through harmonic progressions. You might have noticed that uh, this piece has the same rhythm from the very beginning all the way to the end. So the way that Bach creates motion through the piece is by creating this chain of tensions and resolutions through the harmony and through the chord progression. So let me give you an example. The rhythm for the entire piece is going to be this. will go through the entire piece and it's the, the motion of this course that is going to define where the piece is going. So notice this. When we are looking at the piece on the score, each measure is repeating the same chord twice, except that the chords are being played note by note. But if you take all those notes and you play them together as a block, this is what you get. A C major chord, followed by a D minor 7 chord, followed by a G7 chord that creates a tension and then resolves back on C major. So this is a chord progression. You are home every time you're in C major. Then the piece moves when it is in D minor, it's advancing. Then it creates this, this tension that requires resolution, and that is when it comes back to C. The best way to see this is actually playing the piece as chords. That way you are hearing everything at the same time as one chord and you're hearing the motion of the piece which much more natural flow. So what else is uh, going to do for you to be able to learn the piece like this? If you understand how the piece is built, if you understand the chords, if you understand the patterns, the um, progressions, and you understand how the piece moves in time, it's very likely that you're going to learn it and memorize it much more quickly. But not only that, it's very likely that you are also going to be able to keep it in your repertory without having to practice it as often for much longer time. Because you know how it's built. You don't have to just memorize the notes on the paper. You know what it is, how it was created and how it advances in time. So the assignment I would like to, to give you on this part one of this lesson is I would like you to learn the piece as block chords from the beginning to the end, the entire piece just like this. and all the way to the end. And then on lesson, on part two, we are going to do a whole analysis of every single chord that happens on this piece. So your first uh, assignment is to practice the piece from beginning to end as chords, and then we'll meet again on part two, where we are going to see how the piece is built. Okay, I will see you there. Thank you.